Who's hosting this show? Hi, this is Amy Lewis. Or makeup. This is Engineers Unplugged. Hi, this is Amy Lewis, and we're back for an incredible episode of Engineers Unplugged. We've got Tim and Nigel, and we're going to be talking about NX OS Plus Puppet. This is going to be a live one, people. You don't want to miss it. Tim, take it away. Hi, I'm Tim Swanson. Um, so we've been integrating Puppet into our uh, NXOS plugin uh, capability. So we have an agent running, actually hosted on the NXOS box. Um, we've, we've done a proof of concept here at Cisco Live demo. Um, so Nigel's going to explain a little bit about Puppet, and then I'll take you through some of the network stuff that we've done with Puppet. Thanks, Tim. So what I'm going to go through first quickly is just a little bit of an overview of Puppet. And there's a central concept to Puppet that's really important, which is the graph. And it really lets you just model your infrastructure. So what I'm going to do is give you a whiteboard session showing you some of the real advantages of the graph inside Puppet and how it works in practice. So here I'm going to be talking about your basic LAMP stack. So I'm going to be setting up Apache and MySQL on a given box. So here I'm representing the Apache package. I'm going to represent the service for the Apache actually running. And I'm going to represent the config file, you know, like the virtual host, all those sorts of things. And I'm just going to call that CF for the config file. Now, the great thing about Puppet is you get to express relationships between these objects. So here, we're going to draw an arrow in this direction in the graph, because Puppet knows you need the package down before the config file can be applied. It doesn't really do much good otherwise. But we also have other kinds of relationships. This squiggly line I'm using here, these represent notifications. So if the package changes or the config file changes, the service will be get notified and automatically bounce. And so in production, you know that when you push out a new config file, the service is automatically going to get restarted. And now I'm just going to replicate that same setup for the MySQL program itself. So again, we're drawing a relationship so that the package is down before the config file is. But there's also these notification relationships. So in the same way, MySQL config files gets changed, the service will automatically get restarted. So I'm just going to kind of draw a whole class around that in Puppet terminology. That's just basically a bucket you put your configuration into so you can treat it as a single entity. And now I'm going to hand over to Tim, because as he was saying, one of the things we're doing at the moment is the NXOS integration, which allows us to treat network switches in exactly the same way as we can treat servers. So uh, we've created some Cisco plugins for Puppet uh, in the, that run in the agent, and I actually can control uh, configuration like VLANs and interfaces. So um, what we can do in the context of the application deployment is allow us to configure the network switches that are required to allow, network the application. So, um, sorry, I'll take a different color here. <laughs> Um, so the first thing we would do is, um, in a similar way, we would define um, a, v a VLAN for the apps to be connected. So, and then and we're going to apply some um, access interfaces as well for those to that VLAN. So, in the single manifest, um, you can have some all of these settings and represent the uh, dependencies. So, like as as Nigel's told you about the um, app dependencies, we can do the same thing with the network op, network dependencies. So, say we had two um, different uh, Cisco switches networking the, these devices. The, 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 um, excuse me, networking the um, actual app. So we can have a second switch with, where we replicate the same VLAN, and we have multiple access interfaces there as well. So, um, in the same manifest you can do all of this under the Puppet Master, so you can manage it in one spot, and you get your full network config that you need for your app. So at the, at the network layer, we're able to do this um, in the same manner as the Linux or, or server layer, so we can do full app deployment with uh, the f one Puppet solution. So I think that basically brings it home, and do you have anything else to add, Nigel? 
Sure. So I, I think the thing that's really great to notice here is that we can pull all of this configuration together at the network layer, at the service layer, and have appropriate dependencies. So what are we doing this all for? What we're doing is it's in service of delivering an application. They're making sure its network dependencies and its server dependencies are all there. So let's draw the application in as a bundle. So we, this is going to be our business application here. And we can have exactly the same relationship so that we know the network devices here are all dependent upon the network has to be set up before the services are running. And then the whole thing has a transitive dependency through to the actual application. And then once you've got the actual application going, we've got a unicorn automatically. Wait a second. <laughs> Who's hosting this show? <laughs> How did that happen? That was a really great episode, guys. I appreciate that. Anything that ends in a unicorn, you have to uh, have to appreciate. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I don't even have anything to do. I'm gonna let them close the show. You know. <laughs> so thanks, Tim. Thanks, Nigel. No we'll see you next time on Engineers Unplugged.